Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, I've dug myself a bit of a hole here. I mean, when you have three cards in your deck that could save you, you can only complain so much about not getting them. I mean, I'd drawn less than half my deck, so there was plenty of space for three cards to hide in. There are also two copies of Arcane Intellect that I didn't get a chance to cast, but... You know, casting those would have also slowed down one of my other turns, though it would be hard for them to have been much slower and less productive than they were. Either way, what have we got? Well, at least get one more win so that I do better than even. Jane, even though three wins yeah. is going to be better than the... Uh, you asked for it. Better than the average in the arena, technically. Like, better than the median average. Be exactly the mean average, I would assume. Yeah, I'll get rid of the expensive cards, keep the cards that are not overly expensive for this deck, and that is a whole lot of not minions. I don't know. Because mere entity, it only costs three, but is not good early in the game. Got nothing worth pointing out. Because early in the game, of course, you're going to get a smaller casting cost minion from your opponents. Even if they don't have a way to decoy you and play around it. So he's going to armor up. That's good because it means he's not rushing me down. I will shoot up some of his armor. And... Actually, you know what? I'm stupid. I should have probably coined the Arcane Intellect. I was thinking, I'm, oh, I've got to coin this guy next turn. Coining the Arcane Intellect would have almost certainly been smarter. On the other hand... I can probably just frostbolt him this turn and then either fire blast or cone of cold and kill him next turn. There is a risk to leaving him alive. I could fire I could frostbolt him and then coin and shoot him now, which would guarantee he dies, but maybe I'd be setting him up for the cone of cold if I don't. I have very good minions either way. I mean, I could just coin this guy out. And his shield should help him survive a hit from that guy, but I would, I'm would i worried more can go wrong if this guy's alive. Hmm. I'm going to frostbolt him. What are the chances that he gets healed or something? You know what, it's... It's not worth the risk for hypothetically getting a better Cone of Cold, because guess what? If I'm casting Cone of Cold, I'm also not casting any minions. It seems like it would be a poor risk, like worst of both worlds, to spend my precious Frostbolt on that and then leave him alive. Where, I don't know, like a Farseer, like the 3 3 Farseer guy could come out, heal him for three, and then it'd be boned. Just boned. Yeah. Surfer Moon seems like a pretty good fighter against this guy. Which, I mean, he ought to be. He costs more mana, but this guy seems like a much better card in general. I can't do anything much in the short term. Like, I just, I have, like, no minions except for Ghost's 20 guy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, damn it. See, now I want a Cone of Cold, because it'll kill him, stop her from attacking and stuff. But I can't even Cone of Cold and shoot, which is horrible for me. Like, Cone of Cold and shoot would be a fine turn. I mean, I guess I could shoot him, get him down to his 2-1, and then play the bears who are just going to die. Die to the axe, even. Like, they won't even make any progress. What a mess. He's going to have six mana soon. Maybe I should actually cast the Mirror Entity. I think he can... I'm, I'm confident that he can play around it and I'm going to get screwed, but I think I'm going to shoot this guy because it reduces the damage and gets rid of his Death Rattle. <sighs> do I Arcane Intellect try and draw something decent, or do I Mirror Entity and hope that I can steal something decent from him? He's still got a bunch of cards in his hand to choose from. Hmm. I have a feeling that he's going to have a lot of, like, battle cry stuff. It's not going to help out as much. 
I, I'm going to mirror entity anyway. I'm going to take that risk rather than... The Arcane Intellect is such a slow play. Like, this will give me something, even if it's garbage and he just kills it with one of these guys. Or his axe. But it also has to make him think. Whereas if I Arcane Intellect, I'm putting no pressure on him at all, and I could quite easily not draw anything that helps. Okay, so he's testing what secret is. It's not a vaporizer or an armor. Didn't cast a minion, because I guess he's worried about that stuff. That's that's good. So I could Cone of Cold and then shoot her, and they that would clear the board. Is it good? I don't know. I have the blizzard, like I could take out more stuff if he has more stuff. I could arcane intellect and see what I draw. The problem is the bear would normally be pretty good, but with the axe there, it's not even going to take out one of his minions. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to arcane intellect. I don't want to spend my cone of cold on, the, on that junk. I'm not that hurting for hit points. Uh, I might be able to play him next turn if I had cleared the board, but I haven't, so... If I play him, it's just going to take out this or that. I remove, I reduce the damage almost as much if I just shoot that. So I guess I'm just going to shoot that. Try and save the arcane gold until I get some of those pandas that have been screwing me in other games. You have a handful of pandas. Like I don't have that many battle cry things in this deck. I don't have that many things that are good with the pandas, unfortunately. But the arcane golem is the one. If I have two pandas for seven mana, I can do 12 damage out of my hand. Blah. And even one panda, it's like eight damage, that's pretty good. Saving the axe, that's prudent. Ooh, this guy is good against warriors. Um, so, I can't arcane intellect anymore, I'm going to clog my hand. I really got to play some stuff. I can play the water elemental... And I think now I will play the bear. Because he doesn't have the 2-1 anymore, so he's going to be spending a lot of his stuff that is left to get rid of the bear. He wants to kill this because it's going to freeze him and stop him from attacking. Okay. He wanted to play that because he's got bigger stuff. But... Yeah, okay. Took care of that. That's not the end of the world. These guys are all blizzardable. Please hit me, don't hit the ice. Yes. Okay. I like my position a lot better all of a sudden, despite all that damage and junk. Now, is it worth blizzarding these guys? Because for four mana, I could Cone of Cold them, which and then I could shoot him. That'd be that. That'd be six mana. I would still have two mana left, but nothing to do with it. And he's have these guys would be alive, but unable to attack. No, I, I should just blizzard them. Rocks fall and you die. No rocks made of ice. I hit you. You can't use weapons on me next turn, which is awesome. Had nothing better to do with the two mana than shoot him, but now I have actually a pretty decent board position. So what's he going to do with all that mana? Charge guy. Execute. Yeah. This is so dangerous if you're a warrior or a rogue or just... Oh, he uh, he has two things damaged so that he could battle rage turn it into a two mana arcane intellect. It is hard to get more than two cards out of it, and so maybe not worth the effort. But it's very easy to get two cards out of it, so it is usually as good as arcane intellect. It it depends though; it's a little finicky. Um, I don't have a secret to play with this guy, unfortunately. Do I, how much do I care about those guys? Not all that much. I think the play at this point is Gigantor here. There is not much around to oppose him. And I could shoot my opponent for one. It would be okay. I'm going to shoot this guy on the off chance that he's not throwing it away in an effort to get rid of this. Which he probably is. In fact, it's the problem is I can't tell whether he would have or not, because he's much more likely to throw this away to kill him now that he knows I can pay two mana and kill it next turn. So, Schrodinger's 
Raptor. What now? By trying to preempt the result, I have guaranteed the result. So, armor up. Okay. Give me a quest. I like that he armored up and then did that, because it means he doesn't have like a ton of cards to play. That guy is big and dangerous, though. Holy crap! Really? Okay. Interesting. So I can play this guy for only five mana, which is pretty sweet. I don't want to trade this for that if I can avoid it. He will be fireballable if he's taken one point of damage. So I'm thinking if I cone of cold these three, the two big threats can't attack, and this dies. That leaves me with six mana. I could play this guy, who's a tremendous threat if he doesn't die. And her, and she's just good at surviving and stuff. I, I'm, I think I'm liking this play. I am leaving these guys alive, which is dangerous, but I can fireball him next time. I might draw a flame strike, which would be even better. Let's deliver some beatings, though. And we each have quite an army, but his is frozen. And, of course, if he silences either of these guys, they become much less good. Okay, he's going to slam her. No, nope, he's going to slam him, so he's got a way to finish him off. He's going to... Oh, cleave. That could miss. Ah, you bastard. It didn't miss. Back to work. No, he had a way to guarantee finishing the guy if the cleave didn't work out how he wanted to. Wow, that is some serious stuff all of a sudden. I did not expect quite that much craziness to go off. Mm, insane. I, it looks like I am going to have to trade him for something, which I don't like, but there's just too much crap there. What to do? What to do? So I should probably find a way to play this guy. I'm killing both of them. So three, four, five, so that's nine mana to kill him with fireball, kill him with this. Get, play him, and then I have one left to mirror image. I guess that's my plan. He had quite a play last turn, but that was quite a play on my turn, too. I like the idea of saving the fireball the previous turn, because, I mean, I could have been in a position to just finish him. It's quite possible. He did a lot of crap on his turn. The Defender Vargas was perfect for the situation with two potentially large, frozen guys. So he's got 20 hit points. He can kill off my taunt guys, no problem, but he's going to have a hard time getting rid of this. Ice block. That gives me another whole free turn to work with. Uh, it doesn't help me kill him this turn, though, does it? If I play this, I can still play two of these cards. Oh, actually, I can play all of them, because he plays the ice block for free. Oh, man. I guess I should definitely Arcane Intellect first, because if I get a Flame Strike, then this game is over. I was due, okay? Yeah, like... I don't even have to worry. Unless... This card plus one other card equals 11 damage. Even if I hadn't gotten a flame strike, I mean, just playing him, free ice block, arcane golem to either attack or do something. Oh, has he got the execute? Because that would be cute. Exit. Cute. No, no, your your efforts to survive are misguided. Drink with me, friend.
And of course, if I didn't have him dead, I would have gotten a free ice block, which would have guaranteed me another whole turn to do something. Okay. Four wins, two losses. Well, I've, I've got... I beat the... I'm not going to break even in the arena. I did better than that, so... I am now above both the mean and median averages for this run. Hoping I can get a little farther. I mean, I've got some good stuff in here. It's just... It can run under steam, despite the two arcane intellects. There, there are a lot of things that can go wrong, just like with any deck. But the deck is reasonably well-rounded, if it, even if it's lacking in fatness. She is so not good fatness. Get rid of that. You're more late game. Uh, I don't like having him this early in the game, because he has less chance of... He's probably got to fight it out with other small minions and die. Boy, these were much more late game cards. So, uh, this is I've gotten like all the stuff that I don't want in my starting hand almost. Oh well. Now, what's he going to coin out? Something crazy? I'm assuming. No, he's just going to play the axe, which still totally defeats this guy, right? Thwarts the crap out of him. Hitting me with three, for three with the axe, maybe not the best play, but I tend to do that as well, because I hate playing a weapon and then, like, losing, like, not getting any uses out of it because somebody played a random-ass acid ooze. You know what? Since there's no pressure being put on me, I'm just going to draw two cards. I'm not going to play him just to die to the axe. Like, if he could choose a card from my hand for me to play, it would have been this one. So. You spent your entire axe just doing direct damage to me? That's very aggressive. A little weird. Um, I'd love to get rid of her, but I'm not going to spend the fireball to do it. This is a pretty solid play. I'm probably going to regret it, because he's got four mana, lots of cards, and everything he has with three or less attack has charge until she dies. So, I could have a lot of hurt incoming, but also, I can respawn to hurt with Cone of Cold, I can freeze his guy if he doesn't kill this. I've got lots of flame strikes if, he, if I can freeze an army until it builds up. I, that's probably not going to work out in my favor, though. What, what kind of ugliness have we got? Just the 2-7 troll guy? No, you're going to play someone who doesn't benefit from the charge, although he does stop me from freezing you, probably. Crossbolt could kill her. This guy would be so fragile if I hit that with him, though. Trying to figure out if there's a way that I can get this guy out <laughs> and still stop everything. And technically I can. If I hit this guy, he'll be at one hit point and frozen. This thing will also be at one hit point. But I could frostbolt her, so no more charge crap. And I could play him. Then again, I can't shoot him if I have to shoot this guy on my... So that doesn't work out as well. So maybe I should just go with the straightforward plan, which is fireball him and then kill her with ice. With a water elemental. Oh, that is tough. But no, I can't shoot him and this in the same turn, so I'm not going to try and go for that. It's crazy. I think this is not a bad use of fireball, since it is allowing me to kill her. And of course, he doesn't take very much damage from killing her. As opposed to the, so he can still be executed now, which, again, if you're a warrior, you got a bunch of weapons, this guy's probably worth executing. Okay, he's killed him that way. He can't use the axe next turn, which is still kind of cool for me, but it makes a lot of sense for him to do that. It's too bad I couldn't lock him down that way. But, interesting. So I could play this guy. Wait, is that going to go away on his next turn or not? Oh, that makes a huge difference, and I don't know for sure. Because he froze himself on his turn, 
that might actually just go away on his next turn, which would defeat the purpose of it freezing him there. I might have to frostbolt him to make sure he can't do that, because then I can shoot this guy and have him go crazy. You know what? It's not worth it. I'll just play this, and we'll find out if the ice stays. I don't think it does, though. Oh, it does! Freezing himself on his turn, it still stays. Interesting. Playing this guy is still fine. I, w I couldn't play much else on my turn. I could play this guy and the ice block, which would have been annoying to him, because you'd have to worry about the mirror entity, but... The mystery might have made his turn worse for now, but... Yeah. Playing this was fine. Okay, so yeah, it goes away at the end of the turn. Good to know. Uh, it seems a little excessive to flame strike these little punks. Could Cone of Cold them and still play him, but then I can't freeze him. Freeze him, play this, and then I could shoot one thing. Probably just play the mirror image, actually, to make sure I protect this guy. Wait, if I'm freezing them, I don't... No, I'm not freezing them. I can stop confusing all my plans. They all sound the same. No, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Frostbolt him. A little aggressive. But it means he can't use his axe this turn. I'm going to play the Worgen. A mirror image to protect him. And just to make sure, I'm going to kill that. Because I'm hoping I can shoot this guy and attack for, like, 8 damage. And still have this other stuff doing something. Okay, what do you do with your 7 mana? Warriors don't like being frozen. They're hot-blooded. Actually, freezing cold-blooded things is usually bad for them, too, so... Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, that's very annoying. He actually had enough stuff to get around my freezing him. Boo! Boo, I say. You know what? I think I'm going to freeze these guys so that he plays more stuff that I can then flame strike. I think that's going to be my plan. Oh, I can't shoot him and ice block. Well, shooting him doesn't do much. I better, like, it's, this is a better use of my mana than one damage. Because now, he's got to worry about what secret I have. If he, he, he doesn't want to play a huge minion first, unless he plays like a smaller one before it. In which case it wouldn't be first. Redundant sentence. Wow, he was willing to risk that despite mere entity. That's a little shocking. And it's not a vaporize. He was pretty confident I was playing like an ice block or something, which he had no evidence to indicate. So, strange. I have enough mana to shoot that and flame strike though, so if he doesn't kill this guy, I'm going to have the only thing on the board. may not be a huge fan of Silver Moon Guardian, but if I can keep clearing the way ahead of him, he might go all the way. Awesome! That's flame strikeable! And the crowd goes wild. Ta-da! Yeah, remember kill for us! Can remember now. It's gonna be like, remember that time when I flame struck your entire army. Also, playing the commander was really ballsy. Like that was a big risk because vaporize or mere entity would have made that not the greatest play. Okay, that guy could be a problem. He's a little dangerous. I think I'm gonna have to polymorph him. I'm going to play this guy because he's huge. And I'm going to play this guy because then I still have enough mana to shoot that and maintain board control. Even a sheep is more minions than you're allowed to have. This this whole area here is officially classified as a demilitarized zone. Any minions you play would be in breach of treaty. This unilateral treaty that I've imposed on you and that I'm reinforcing with nuclear f***ing weapons. I've got Probably shouldn't have said the Anyway. Well, those are some serious guys. 
There's some serious guys. Oh, I could get his bubble back. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to have a chance right now, though, because even though it's expensive, like I'm only killing two guys and I still have to shoot one, this is still, like, maintaining my advantage here, because the 5-5 five five was pretty dangerous. I don't have another good way to kill him. Yeah, remember that other time when I killed your guys with nuclear weapons? <laughs> it's happening all over again. Ah, damn it, now he's going to kill this guy and I can't bubble him. No, he is going for the kill. You do realize I have an ice block, right? He's going to kill this now. He, he knows he can't kill me, so he is saving his guy. Killing that instead. It's, not, it's too bad I can't use the get the bubble back trick, but it's not a big deal. Really? Arcane Golem when I need one. Um, at the risk of losing a little momentum, I gotta kill that guy. I'm gonna play one of these, just so I have more forces. I am gonna save one in case of area of effect stuff, or in case maybe I can get her bubble back, or in case I draw an Arcane Golem and this turns into four damage for two mana. Uh, okay, four damage for five mana, because I gotta play the Arcane Golem again, but still good. He's armoring up. He's trying to resist. No, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that guy. Finish him. Do three damage. Bouncer. Player again. Now, if I play this guy then a brawl will totally F me up. It'll totally screw me. Whereas it'll screw me less if I don't play this guy. But anything but a brawl, like he's a warrior, he could whirlwind attack, cleave might kill this guy, but then it's not killing as many of my other guys. Like The thing is, if I don't play him, I can't kill him next turn. If I do play this, I can kill him next turn. Alright, I guess we'll go for it. Brawl is an epic card. It would be very, very unfortunate if he has a Brawl. Okay, good. I hate that card, too, because it's so random. Like, right now, it would not be very random. All my minions have about the same attack. They all have similar-ish defense. I would be left with one minion who probably does three damage. So, it's not... Even though it targets randomly... In that case, the effect is not random, and it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is if he ha if he plays one guy and then brawls, and then it kills all my forces and leaves his guy, or if it kills all the stuff, if I had one big thing, and if it killed everything but like left one my one big thing, those two events are tremendously different, and nobody has any control over them. It's completely random, and it can swing the game entirely either way, and I hate that. But anyway, I got up to five wins. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if I can push it even farther next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.